Hi, Keith Jackson here from iTech Digital Systems. We're here at CES 2018 showing our latest AI technology, which leverages the Xilinx Zinc 7020. So we can run embedded in a variety of applications, leveraging our latest vision tracking technology. Let me show you some of the applications where our AI is being used. Smart TVs for touchless interface and control. So we're showing a fun game, shoot, point and shoot. The target is me, wherever I look, and then it gives you a score. Uh, there's also, uh, for an accessibility, being able to control the TV, your Netflix, your other apps on your TV by just using your eyes. Uh, that'll be moving forward in the future. In automotive, um, our AI technology is a great platform. We're uh, using an Aptina 3 megapixel sensor, very common sensor in the automotive, along with the Zinc, uh, very common in automotive for both infotainment control for touchless interface as well as driver monitoring. Here we're showing the driver monitoring, how quickly it acquires the eyes. You can see the green indicator lights shows my eyes are being tracked. If I move my head forward and back, it maintains a solid lock. That's our new fast acquisition algorithm. And then we are also working with um, partners to embed onto the Zinc uh, the face tracking and the emotional metrics. So if I smile, it shows that I'm happy. If I frown, shows that I'm angry. It also tracks my uh, different facial features, my eyebrows, my eyes, my mouth. So this will be a key component for improving ADOS as we move through the different levels. Um, two, three, and four we believe will be a key component where vision tracking, face tracking, uh, iris authentication will be a key component for safety and uh, improving the driver's uh, awareness with the, in the car for HMI. Hi, here we're showing our latest uh, VR headset running with our AI technology. It's a two camera solution running standalone all through a Samsung Galaxy 7 phone, um, running at 500 frames per second. Uh, nothing like that on the market. It's actually capturing over 16,000 data points a second. So let me show you how it finds my eyes. You can see the crosshair and uh, then you do a simple calibration and you can analyze valuable metrics uh, for medical applications like saccades, uh, which is the jitter of the eye, uh, pupil dilation, all those types of things uh, are more prominent when someone has a concussion or other neurological trauma. Uh, so we're really excited to have this. Uh, we've been working on this with Charles River Analytics uh, to bring this to market and uh, excited to show it here at CES today. And then over here we're showing an uh, eye control wheelchair. This is actually our largest market. Uh, we, we have thousands of paralyzed people every day that use this technology to communicate, control their email, make and receive phone calls, and be independent uh, all with their eyes. So we've actually worked with uh, Microsoft to integrate, uh, it's called a human interface device class specific for eye tracker. So now it's a, uh, a great accessibility feature built into Windows 10 in their latest creators update. So let me show you how that works. So I've already calibrated. I uh, can look at this icon up here. So if I want to select the internet, so I look here. Now wherever I look, the cursor goes, it shows like a circle. I'll go ahead and open up the internet, all with my eyes. And then I can hit a left click or a right click, and now I launch the Internet Explorer. Um, we also have worked with partners um, to be able to be able to control the seating and positioning of the wheelchair as well as driving the wheelchair all with the eyes. So that's what we've been up to, um, and we're really really excited to be here at CES, uh, showing off uh, our latest greatest, but also learning a lot of you know what what other uh, manufacturers are doing and how eye control can be a part of their next generation devices.